What's up? Welcome back. I've just got a package in from Five Below. And in this package, we have Pro Player Booga's brand new brand of mouse and keyboard. Now, anyone in the Fortnite community should know who Booga is at this point. He won the Fortnite World Cup last year and won $3 million. And since then, he's completely blown up. He averages like 10,000 viewers on Twitch. He's still probably the best solo player on Fortnite. Fortnite currently and he teamed up with five below to release affordable peripherals for people that want to play mouse and keyboard So I thought it'd be fun to get my hands on them and try them out These are more so for entering into learning to play on mouse and keyboard I mean the mouse and keyboard are literally ten dollars a piece So obviously if you want to make it to Fortnite World Cup 2021, you're probably not gonna use a ten dollar mouse Regardless, let's check it out Alright, alright, it has the RGB, it got that going for it. I will say straight out of the box, I did have an issue with the S key, it was sticking a little bit, but I popped it off, put it back on, and it started working fine again. This keyboard and mouse come in at $10 a piece, $20 total for the both of them. So I gotta say, my expectations are on the floor right now. But there's only one way to test it, so let's head into Fortnite. Just as a quick reminder, I do typically play controllers. So if I'm not the greatest on mouse and keyboard, please don't bully me. And these right here will be the mouse and keyboard settings that I'm using. All right, first build, let's try it. First impressions, the mouse and keyboard don't feel that great. Like physical feeling compared to like a normal mechanical keyboard which obviously you can't really compare the two, but just from what I'm used to, the actual feeling just doesn't feel that great. These like membrane keycaps in this keyboard compared to an actual mechanical keyboard just feels really weird to press. And I think so far my biggest critique is this space bar. Currently the mouse feels fine. I honestly wouldn't even mind using this mouse. It has the two side buttons, it's RGB. Scroll wheel does feel a little wonky, but it's not all that bad. The only thing that I don't like about the mouse is that its lowest DPI is 1200. And from what I know, most Fortnite players play on either 400 or 800 DPI. So having a 1200 DPI to start off with is kind of annoying. Keyboard wouldn't be all that bad if the spacebar worked. This is likely just an issue on my unit, but if I was to continue using this keyboard, I would probably send it back and get one that had a working spacebar. I feel like I'm pretty warmed up, at least as warmed up as I can get on this mouse and keyboard. So let's jump in and have some PVP against real players and see how it goes. Unfortunately, OBS decided it wasn't going to record game audio while I was playing Fortnite, so instead, you guys get to watch some amazing amazing gameplay and listen to my beautiful voice. So let's talk about some things. This is a huge business move from Booga. We've only ever seen a couple Fortnite Pro players release branded gear in the past. Ninja had his final mouse Air 58 and Clix had his keyboard. However, Booga's release is different in a few ways. First of all, both Ninja and Clix partnered with a company to produce their product. Ninja partnered with Final Mouse and Clix with Matrix keyboards. As far as I know in the writing on the box says, this mouse and keyboard is only branded to Booga and nothing else. Secondly, every other pro player that has released products have been for professional tier play meaning they do not come cheap. Ninja's mouse can now be found on sale for well over $200, and Clix's keyboard is well over $100. Booga is approaching a different market, the cheap budget market, and there's no better store in this sector than Five Below. Five Below is a store which sells most of their items at only $5 or less, while a few items range from $6 to $10. Now Booga has partnered up with Five Below and has his mouse and keyboard as well as a few other items on sale in Five Below retail locations. This product line is definitely targeted at an audience newer to PC gaming. So if one simply wants to learn to play on mouse and keyboard, spending $20 to learn is a whole lot better than spending $200. In overall, I think Booga is going to see great success out of this product line. Quick reminder, if you are enjoying the video at this point, please do not forget to drop a like on the video and subscribe for more content. Now this new mouse and keyboard is not Booga's only new oh, business venture. Oh my Booga 
also God, recently tweeted what? out that he's now offering a course teaching people how to become better competitive Fortnite players. This course has 15 different lessons going over each specific area one needs to master to become a high tier player. And the course starts at $10 per month. Now I don't know about you, but this course sounds pretty interesting, so let me know down in the comments if you want me to buy it and make a video about it. Now Booga's <laughs> new mouse and keyboard is fine if you simply want to begin learning and get a feel for playing mouse and keyboard, however you will find that you will quickly outgrow it and want something better. Because of this, I highly recommend saving up a bit more money and buying a better mouse and a better Holy keyboard. Holy crap, he just hit that shot. I'm literally winning over like this guy. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't play mouse and keyboard and I'm on a $10 mouse and keyboard. Basically my overall impressions is that the mouse really isn't all that bad. I was hitting some nice flick shots, it's really not that terrible, especially for $10. Keyboard I can't say the same, using this keyboard would frustrate me so badly. My S key has gotten stuck a couple times. The space bar can only be pushed down in the middle and not really on the side. On the side, if you want to push it down, you have to put way more pressure. And overall, the keys just don't feel very nice. And even for $10, I don't think this keyboard is very good. I would much rather save up another 40 and get something like this 60% mechanical keyboard. On Amazon, you can find mechanical keyboards at only $50 and good gaming mouses start around that price as well. The difference only $80 can make is night and day. You improve much faster on better peripherals, and trust me when I say this, you'll be very happy you ended up saving and buying something better. We are now approaching the end of this video. I appreciate you if you have made it this far. Make sure if you have any further questions to drop them in the comments down below and I'll make sure to get back to every single one of your guys' questions. I think I've expressed my view enough on this mouse and keyboard. This keyboard and mouse is obviously not something that I'm going to be using over my $120 current mouse and keyboard setup but once again make sure to like and subscribe if you did enjoy comment any questions down below i thank you guys for watching this far in and i hope to see you in a future video